Hi dear students, welcome to my class. This is for uh, 10th students and the chapter is metals and uh, non-metals. In the last class, we were discussed about uh, extracting of uh, metals in the middle activity series. So in the middle activity series, uh, uh, we have the follow the roasting method and uh, calcination method. Okay. Uh, for sulphide ores, roasting and uh, for carbonate ores, for calcination. Okay. What is meant by roasting and uh, calcination? So first, uh, roasting. Roasting means uh, sulphide ores are uh, converted into metal oxides by heating uh, uh, strongly with the excess of air. That is what uh, roasting. Okay. So calcination means uh, these carbonates or are converted into oxides by strongly heated with a limited supply of air. That is what uh, calcination is. Okay. In a uh, uh, low reactivity series, sulphide ores are present. In the middle activity series, sulphide ores and uh, carbonate ores are present. And uh, now in this class, I am going to discussing about uh, extracting of uh, metals uh, in the top of activity series. Extracting, extracting of metals, extracting of metals uh, in the top of the top of the activity activity series activity series. So that means uh, the metals present in a uh, high reactivity or top of the reactivity that means uh, these metals are very reactive metals these metals are very reactive metals and one more thing these metals uh, cannot be obtained from their compounds by uh, heating with carbon heating with carbon means reduction process right now so these metals cannot obtain from their compounds by heating with carbons. Why? Because this carbon is less reactive when compared to all these metals. So which metals are present in the top of the series? Sodium, Potassium, Magnesium, Calcium, Aluminium are there right now. So all these are cannot be reduced the oxides of all, especially this carbon. This carbon cannot be reduced to the oxides of sodium, magnesium, aluminium, right? All these elements. So why? Because so this is because of all these elements. These metals are elements are metals. These metals are more affinity, more affinity, more affinity for the oxygen, oxygen than carbon than carbon okay so uh, please remember top of the activity series metals are highly reactive metals and uh, these are cannot be obtained from their compounds by heating with the carbon why because these uh, metals these metals are more affinity means uh, more understanding are more reactive with the oxygen than carbon, than carbon. Why? Because this carbon is less reactive when compared to all these elements like uh, potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, aluminium. These are all uh, highly reactive metals. Highly reactive metals. Uh, so carbon is uh, less reactive than these all these metals. That's why. That's why. And uh, one more thing. These metals are more affinity towards oxygen. So these uh, metals are react with oxygen and forms it uh, metal oxides. But uh, these metalites cannot reduce uh, or cannot uh, reduction by this carbon. Okay. So uh, because of this, these metals are uh, obtained by the electrolysis of their molten chloride. Electrolysis method. Electrolysis of a molten molten ores molten chlorides or molten ore chlorides molten chlorides okay so generally electrolysis process so in the electrolysis what happens that is uh, we will discuss in the next uh, next video okay so in that electrolysis we have uh, two electrodes in this we have two electrodes 
in that uh, one uh, cathode is there another one is uh, anode is there for the, in that cathode metals are deposited uh, cathode means positively charged please remember ma positively charged positively charged electrode positively charged electrode we call as a cathode cathode okay and uh, negatively charged electrode that is a uh, anode anode so th this we will discuss in the electrolysis or in the uh, refining of metals dp okay in this class just remember cathode in this cathodes metals are deposited in the cathode metals are deposited at a cathode so cathode means positively charged cathode means a uh, sorry ma uh, cathode means uh, negatively cathode means negatively charged or uh, anode means uh, positively charged so we we have a confusion why because so an ions cat ions cat ion and uh, an ions so cat ion symbol which one ma cat ion means uh, positive right now and uh, an ion symbol is negative so that's why i am getting confused here also we, we so you also getting confusions ions are different than the electrodes so ions are separate and uh, electrodes are uh, separate okay so negatively charged electrode that is a uh, cathode negatively charged and positively charged electrode that is anode but in ions cat ions means positively charged an ions means negatively charged don't get confused ma okay this is very very important so if you know this very well then only you can understand the electrolysis or electrolytic refining so from this at cathode what happens at a cathode cathode at cathode at what happens metals are deposited in cathode metals are deposited metals are deposited deposited at a cathode right so deposited means a reduction process is occurs electrolytic reduction so we know that addition of oxygen oxygen is oxidation or removal of oxygen is also reduction or uh, addition of hydrogen is also reduction in the electron in the electron transfer method gain of electron please remember ma this is very very important gain of electrons gain of electrons we call as a reduction gain of electron we call as reduction this is another definition for a reduction process okay and a loss loss of electrons we call as oxidation oxidation okay for reduction electrons for electron transfer method definition which is ma so the substance which gains the electrons the substance which gains the electrons that process we call as reduction the substance which loses the electron that we call as oxidation in this extracting of metals in the top activity series we have to follow the electrolysis of molten series molten ore that means so electrolytic reduction so please remember electrolytic reduction electrolytic reduction electrolytic reduction right so this is the method so from this method we have to extract the metals okay so these metals never found in nature free state okay are uh, elements so when this are uh, present in the molten ores you have to follow the electrolytic reduction reduction means electron gains production means the process of uh, gaining of electron process of gaining of electron so in cathode what happens let's start sir so i am taking a sodium na plus means uh, this is electron deficient for this uh, for this deficient i am going to add the electron so electron is there so for this electron is added so now it becomes a uh, neutral na only okay na plus means uh, deficient minus means electron rich okay for in at anode what happens at anode anode okay at cathode what happens ma metals are deposited metals are deposited it at anode what happens 
टू सी एल माइनस टू सी एल माइनस क्लोरिन ओके टू सी एल माइनस दिस लूज द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लूज द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बिकॉज ऑफ लूजिंग टू सी एल सो सी एल सो सॉरी सो टू सी एल लास्ट द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू माइनस चार्ज आर लास्ट दट माइन सी एल टू टू ई माइनस टू ई माइनस मीन्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर लास्ट इन दिस एनोड Oxidation process are occurs at cathode. Reduction process are occurs. This will be to discuss in a refining of metals. Okay, so just remember this uh, cathode reaction and anode reaction. Okay, in the next class uh, we will uh, deeply discuss this uh, refining of metal or electrolysis uh, electrolysis of refining of uh, copper and aluminium etc. Okay, thank you.